G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is a Space Pirates and Zombies 2 playthrough, and I am your host, Vastima. Last time around, we attempted to destroy the zombie alpha some distance away from his capital in order to extend the amount of time it takes for him to get himself a new ship, or to be re as I like to call it because I'm an idiot. Um, unfortunately, we mucked up the plan a bit by, well, by being impatient and destroying the starbase at levity. So instead of the zombie alpha coming all the way down here to Stork's Landing, uh, he decided to do a U-turn and come back up to level t to level t to levity. Uh, so that was completely our fault, but nevertheless, we did attack and destroy him. And so it will take him a while to get back to his capital to get a new ship. Now, the intention was uh, to, in the meantime, destroy these four star bases. However, I have changed my mind and decided to use this time to modify my ship. Now, in case you haven't already watched uh, Season 3, Episode 8 of engineering and space pirates and zombies too or perhaps you don't watch the engineering episodes i came up with a sniper cannon design which works awesomely against strike craft and of course as you know late game there are a lot of strike craft so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually i'm going to run all the way back up to here to watch his landing pick up my taxes that are uh, in there at the moment, which is up to 5,400. I'm going to pick them up. I'm going to give Watcher's Landing to a captain to govern. Then I'm going to go all the way back up to the capital. I'm going to pick up whatever is in here, which happens to be another 16,000. I'm going to use that scrap plus the scrap I've already got, which is at 10,000, to completely refit my ship as a sniper cannon design. Uh, I'm not going to make you watch all of that. Instead, I'll just get back to you once it's all done. Just as a quick aside, as I was on my way back up to Watcher's Landing, I ran into... Well, I didn't run into him, but I was passing Dr. Cracker, and I thought I would take this opportunity to finally get around to recruiting him to my faction. Once again, I will be back with you. Well, unless something else of interest happens, and I have to point it out, I'll be back to you once I have modified my ship. Okay, so here we are with the completed ship or the completed modifications to the ship. These modifications are called the Resolute Prince, if I didn't mention that before. And you can see full um, uh, explanation and testing in Season 3, Episode 8 of Engineering in Space Pirates and Zombies 2, uh, if you wish, if you haven't already. And now this isn't the best part placement I can think of. However, it gets the job done without having to completely buy, you know, uh, parts that I will basically, I don't want to have to replace the plasma discharges with sniper cannons only to have to buy more plasma discharges to stick on the front and back anyway. So instead I've opted to remove the parts I don't actually want on the completed design, namely uh, the bomber hanger. Uh, so I've replaced that with a double sniper cannon configuration. Uh, the ion bomber hanger at the back on the engine, on the large Sun Hunter engine, I've replaced that with a, a double sniper cannon. Damn, I am not having the best fucking day, am I? A double sniper cannon engine, and I have replaced both of the uh, large zapper hangers at the back here with double sniper cannon configurations as well and that of course gives me two sniper cannons at the front and six at the back for a grand total of eight sniper cannons now what we're going to do is uh, actually i should probably talk about my current strategic goals my current strategic goals are basically uh, as soon as I can, defeat the zombie alpha away from his capital so he takes a long time to get back to the capital to get a new ship. And while that is happening, I want to take out these four star bases and replace them with my own star bases. 
And eventually, once I uh, cure enough captains, put governors there as well. Oh, great. What a time for a burp. Excellent. Okay, now, in order to get the scrap that I need to do that, I am going to raid a couple of pirate hives on the way back. Um, that one, maybe. And, oh, that's a 15,000. That's a 15,000. Okay. So if I take out both of them, actually, that would be pretty good. I'll take out both of them, and I'll come back across. Let's see where the zombie alpha is exactly right now. Okay, so he's already in levity. He's crossed from there to there. Uh, so he's made it about a third of the way. Um, so that's not too bad. Okay, so we've got the ship modified. Uh, we've got a plan in hand. So I will meet you down at this bandit hive. Now, I'm not going to take you through both of these bandit hive fights because you've seen me destroy bandit hives plenty of times before. But I do want to show off these uh, modifications to the ship. So let's go over here a bit. Uh, if we can turn and get between this ring and these rocks and everything else. And of course, we will take out this pirate mothership, which will be weak as pit. Holy fuck, did you see that guy go down? Okay, let's see how the configuration I have got goes against shields and... Well, pretty good against zombie, uh, zombie, pretty good against pirate mothership shields. And, of course, one of the great things about uh, having all these sniper cannons is we can do some excellent manual aiming. Oh, yeah, there we go. He's shedding parts already. And we don't have to worry about scatter shotting all over the place because these are hyper accurate and have excellent shot speed. Now, if you just blow that off, oh, it doesn't matter. doesn't need to blow that off at all because he is dead. Now, if only I could turn my ship around. Excellent. God, I am just swatting these strike craft. Just swatting them. There we go. Between the Zappa drones on my strike craft and my sniper cannons, we are just fucking these guys up. And there we go, another one gone. Of course, we will not have it this easy against the zombie strike craft. Don't think for a sec we will, because we won't. Okay, well, there's only one pirate strike craft left anyway, but we'll just ignore him and start in on... Holy fuck. Did you see that? Of course you saw that. My god. That was awesome. He just went. That's the only way I can describe it. He went. One moment he was there and then he went. Okay, I'm going to pick up all the loot and I will join you back on the star map. Okay, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is what this new modified design is like against pirate level 3 hives. Now, I am going to go and take out this other one as well, but... Don't worry, I am not going to make you sit through it. As you can probably imagine, that second pirate hive fell with ease as well. In fact, um, with that one, I just rushed straight towards the pirate hive and annihilated it. Uh, so now we're going to head on over to my territory over here, over to Gamma Expanse. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Dalsy of the third. Okay, I'll just ignore you for the moment. What's going on over here? We've got a bit of clusterfuckery going on. Um, and none of them have been destroyed. Okay, let's see. Where is the zombie alpha? Okay, he's not back at the capital yet. Um, what I'm hoping he will do is he will go to the capital, then he will come to level... I did it again. He will come to Levity, he will build a base, and then hopefully he will come over here and try and build a base down there. Now that is where I want to destroy him, so it will take him forever to get back there. In the meantime, of course, we want to kill some time, and... Okay, we've got plenty of scrap now. In fact, I've also recovered plenty of goons, so... Uh, I might have to head on down to my forward operating base and drop them off, because they will be making me burn res on life support. 
but we do need to kill some time. So what I might do is I might see if... I was mentioning something else. Oh, that's right, needing res. So we want to get infected parts to scrap as well because we want to start curing captains so that we have in enough uh, territorial governors. And there goes my voice. Now, what glass should I reach for, ladies and gentlemen? The water or the rum? Yeah, I'm reaching for the rum. Of course I'm reaching for the fucking rum. Mm. Mm. Oh. Okay, I'm back with you now. I have returned from Ambrosia Heaven. The, well, the Ambrosia Heaven that is drinking batch 15 of Bundaberg Small Batch. Damn, I am waffling on. Um, watch Grog... Ms. Fishbowler and Mad Tata. We will see if we can entice them all to join in on a fight. I doubt we will. Um, not unless we attack a star base. I could do... No, if I attack a star base, then for sure... Actually, I should probably do a quick save first. And let me just check and make sure that I have actually started up my timer again we do not want a repeat of one of those ridiculous 54 minute episodes well maybe you do i don't know i haven't been getting a lot of comments lately ladies and gentlemen which is a bit weird there's usually at least one or two of you which are uh who are pretty locate oh fuck i give up let's fight let's just go fight some dudes wow well lots of people getting involved Okay, so right at the start, we are going to want to turn. Turn, turn, turn. Here comes the enemy fire. Let's put power to shields just until we can get away. Oh, we got stuck on that ring. That sucked. Okay, so we're going to go straight ahead from here. Excellent. Nearly out of boost juice. It's all... <gasps> no, 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 no. Destroy it. Excellent, 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 excellent. Well... They're all stuck in here with me now. Okay, okay. Out of boost juice again. Okay, let's try and get a little bit further away. We are about to run out of capacity juice, which is going to suck. Okay, there we go. We've got some distance between us and them. Um, there's one guy over here, which is annoying, but fuck off. There we go. Okay, so... Uh-huh. Not too bad, not too bad. That guy with the iron shotgun behind me is annoying. Actually, yeah, fire at him. Three sniper cannons right into his face. There we go. That's what we want to see. Okay, so something is slowly draining my shields. I think it's this guy. Let's um, try and spin around a bit just so my other sniper cannons can fire it at him. Fire it at him. Yep. Me English, good. Damn. And before you ask how many rums I've had, I've only had about half a stand. It's only been a few sips. So, yes, my uh, language difficulties this episode, I cannot blame on alcohol, unfortunately. That would be convenient. But no, it is just my incompetence. My difficulty in um, expressing thoughts out of my forward orifice. What's it called? A mouth. That's right. A mouth. Well, we are completely annihilating all of these strike craft. They are just getting minced. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can't believe we still have four strike craft on the board. That is awesome. I guess we are destroying enough enemy strike craft that they are not getting annihilated yet. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. And there goes another one. Fantastic. And either there are a lot of small enemy strike craft, or these guys have already lost their shields. I think they're all smalls. But I don't really have time to pull out the old scopes and have a close on look. Instead, we'll just see how quickly they die. And the answer is pretty fucking quickly. Now, let's spin around straight into this torpedo. Ooh, my flat cannon's got him. Very nice, very nice. And still have four strike craft left. Fantastic. Ooh, ooh. 
Watch this torpedo. What's going on? Is this guy coming over or not? Oh, we're losing a bit of shields right now. Ah, oh, range of aim, I think. I think it was. No, no, I think it was just a... I don't know now. I'd have to see it on the footage, and it wasn't all that important anyway. It was some laser of the laser variety. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, yeah, I really do have to check and see um, what colour uh, emitters are and what colour lasers are, because I can never remember. One's blue and one's red. I think lasers might be red and emitters might be blue. But then what colour are blasters? I'm, I really got to do like a weapon recognition episode where I just go through every single weapon. Actually, no, you might all find that boring as fucking shit. I don't know. I don't know. Comment below. Would you all like to see a weapon recognition episode? And okay, let's just spin around over here Why we recharge our capacitor. Uh, it'll give us a chance to smash these guys. I'm about to lose my remaining strike craft, but boy, have they been champions this battle. They have been absolute champions. And another one bites the dust. Yeah. And yes, that uh, qualifies as singing, which means I cannot do it. Okay, corrosive warheads, ion SRMs. This guy is carrying around a lot of bad. And, of course, we do not want to get hit by all that bad, but we do want to knock down his shields and blow his nose off. Blow his nose off. Come on. Knock down his shields. Knock down his shields. Let's not get too far ahead. And there goes his nose. Awesome. Ah, damn. No, no, no. Come on. Do some more damage before we run out of capacitor. Excellent. I'm pretty happy with that. I am pretty happy with that. That Cruel Blade, while it sounds menacing, is not going to do as much damage while I have shields up. And by much damage, I mean it's not going to do sweet fuck all. Okay. This guy's almost lost his shield. I don't know, was that overshots? Could have been. Let's um, get a bit closer to him so we can pick off a few of his choicer parts. Uh, not that close. He's got a whole bunch of explosive warheads and we want to keep our ass to him since that's where we have our triple sniper cannons anyway. And there goes his nose. The rest of him will swiftly follow. Let's try and get some of those inner cores there if we can. My shields are still at full. All good, all good. Man, isn't this awesome? We are just smashing everything with these sniper cannons. Um, I'd just like to thank Michael Grimm and Valentino for uh, talking about how much they like the sniper cannons because uh, their comments pretty much prompted me to give them another try and I really was not expecting them to be all that useful this late in the game. But I've got to say uh, they're doing enough to knock down Strikecraft shields, and of course, they're far better against Strikecraft than plasma discharges because you know they can actually hit the fucking things. And yeah, so the lesser damage is more than made up for by their accuracy. And I didn't even need to bother with uh, bringing ion SRMs or ion bombers, I was originally going to match, match, mix, match, yeah, whatever. I was going to, um, uh, bring ion SRMs to work in concert with the sniper cannons, but I decided to go for the eight sniper cannons instead. Wow, I think we are not only at the end of the enemy strike craft, but here is the last of the zombie motherships. Actually, now let's pull away and recharge the capacitor. Yes, I actually noticed that time, ladies and gentlemen. I may have at least a few functional brain cells. It would really need verification, you know, maybe extensive testing, but there may actually be something in my cortex that functions 
something akin to a brain. No guarantees though. Now, okay, fuck that guy. I think he's a gold digger. Um, and let's turn around, get within 500 of this guy. That spore pod, that spore pod. No, you didn't get it. Of course you didn't get it. Okay, come on, knock this guy's shields down and then I can go to work knocking some of the choicer bits off him. Oh, excellent. I got Spore Pod that time. That makes me happy. And there goes your shields. Excellent. So, oh no, they're still up just a tiny bit. There we go. Okay. Let us knock some bits off him. Oh, come on. Come on. Wow, is this guy coming in for the ram? Well, oh no, he was coming in because he's got a Mac hammer. At least I think that was a Mac hammer. Ooh, and that's a particle hose. Awesome. Nice mix of weaponry there, but it doesn't matter because you are falling apart, my friend. You are falling apart. And Terra Warshaw, you are gone. And... And any blueprints? Did I pick up those remaining two gold diggers? I think I must have. And here we go. This guy is gone. Excellent. Fantastic, in fact. So, back to the... Oh, here's another gold digger. There we go. Back to the star map we go. And... Ooh, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Damn. It's tempting to put into storage, though. Because I have been thinking about bringing along one Cruel Blade, because I knock down enemy shields really, really quick um, these days. But, uh, well, not so much now that I've got rid of all my zappers and my ion bombers and everything. But I'm just wondering, should I... You know what? No, I'm not going to bother. We've got a good design. For the moment, I'm going to stick to it. And anyway, that part was a civilian wing, if I remember correctly. And I prefer, of course, as you all know, to use Sun Hunter parts for the added speed. Although it did have something like uh, plus three maneuver and plus five speed to it. Um, and I am waffling yet again. What do I want to take? I want to take some shield strength. I want to take some shield strength, and I want to take some reactor, since that's always nice, and some more shield. This time I'm definitely going to need a water. Um, mm. Okay, so that is three, holy shit, and there's another three guys, I might have to replace Hans, because his ship, it basically looks like basic. It basically looks like basic. Holy fuck. It looks like all basic components. Junk parts. That's what I should have said. I should have said it basically looks like junk parts. Holy fuck. I really need to just shut up. Okay, so inventory. What I'm going to do is, as I said, I am going to take any infected parts and I'm going to chip them for res because I really do need the res to cure guys and any other parts I'm going to chip mm. unless they are extremely expensive and I'm near a FOB and I in that case I will drop them off into personal storage to sell at a later date but they would have to be really expensive like we're talking about more than 10,000 so with that done and all that res under our belt um, see, the problem is, we didn't cure Mr. Hookup, we forgot all about it, and we didn't cure Granny Ruiner either. So what I'm thinking is, just holding on to the res we've got now, and just letting those guys... What the hell? Where the hell are you? Okay, no, that's, that's semi-convenient. How about Mr. Hookup? Can't believe we forgot to cure him. 
again and again and again okay mr hookup is oh not even back at the capital yet so technically i could run down and cure mr hookup but if i do that then i would have to forego saving hans and hans booby i am your white knight yeah i know that was fucking lame wasn't it okay Pop culture references aside, let's go and save Hans. Now, I didn't forget to do anything, did I? I'm not damaged, I don't need to repair. No, 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 excellent, fantastic. Because that would be embarrassing. We will replace Hans in the fight and we will try and kick the shit out of another three zombies in a 1v3 fight. I did save it, didn't I? I think I did. Okay, now let's spin actually. Let's not waste our powder shields yet. Oh, let's let's put it on now though. Let's put it on now. And did we scrape past that rock? Yes, we did. Excellent. Okay. Every so often we will just do a bit of that. Awesome. Okay. Okay, indeed. And you dead yet? No, come on. Okay, my strike craft seem to be dying a lot quicker this time. Maybe not. Let's just see. Okay, here we go. We got this. Ooh, lots of nasty shit coming my way. Yeah, take this guy out. Don't know why, I just want him taken out. He looks dodgy as fuck. Maybe that's like, you know, racial profiling or something. I don't know. Well, he's a zombie, so I guess I'm technically racially profiling all of them? Or am I, like, profiling them based on their, um, their health? I don't know. I have no idea what I'm fucking talking about. Just ignore me. Just, you know, turn the sound off completely and watch the battle. What I'm going to do next is, like I usually do, I'm going to take out all these little strike craft. And if I get a chance, of course, I am going to take out one of these motherships. But I'm not going to risk my immolation and annihilation taking out a mothership early. Or maybe I should. Oh, yeah, come on. Let's get him. Let's get the fuck. Is his shield down? I think his shield's down. Okay, let's, let's not... Oh, there goes his nose. Let's get, there goes his nose. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, let's just pull ahead while I'm recharging. And... Excellent. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like I've only got one strike craft left. So, not a lot of decoy going on. And I just lost that last remaining strike craft. So, no decoys left. Wow, did you see? I think like four warheads just fratricided then. Awesome. That's one of the main reasons I don't bother with the warheads. And if I do, I only use one. They just end up taking each other out. Okay, so... What's going on with the strike craft? It's almost like they know I've got strike craft killers on me. Well, I do. You little shits. I am wielding strike craft killers. Okay. Let's just stay ahead of those missiles. Nope. Didn't think I'd be able to, but it was worth a try. Not that it matters. They don't do a lot of damage these days anyway. Unless there's like 20 of them. Which happens. Okay, now. Lots and lots of torpedoes. We've got cloud torpedoes, regular torpedoes, corrosive warhead. Ooh, and I just walk straight into an ion warhead like a fucking moron. Okay, I'm trying to have to, I'm trying to have to, I'm having to look at um, different guys on wildly divergent angles. So let's kill the guy with the bloody warheads, who's being as annoying as fuck. Excellent. Now let's spin around. We'll deal with this guy since I've already fucked up his shields quite a bit. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Well, this guy doesn't want to be chased down and killed, it looks like. Oh, oh. Nearly in range, though. Nearly in range. Ooh, 
and six sniper cannons actually didn't do anywhere near as much damage as I was expecting but yep that salvo killed him okay unfortunately the heavily wounded mothership is in amongst the other two but the good news is I've nearly destroyed all of the strike craft oh I probably should well I was about to say I probably should have switched back to sniper cannons a lot earlier but uh, if I hadn't been taking all of the perks that I have at level up and eschewing the um, uh, the strike craft bonuses then they wouldn't be as strong as they are sorry if that uh, sentence seemed really slow and drawn out but I was watching that spore pod coming towards me like some sort of rancid doom now if we can just take out these last few remaining guys I would be a lot happier Oop. Mac Hammer, uh, let's just slide away from him until we take out the, uh, until we take him out, that's what I meant to say. And you're dead, Plasma Discharge is dead for you, and the Slight Sniper Gannons are going to do for you, yes, yes, oh, one or more of them still got some uh, strike craft in the hangars, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. Oh, I'm ignoring you. Excuse me, okay, this guy is out ahead of the others again. Silly sausage. Silly, silly sausage. Oh, and SR rams, torpedoes, warheads. Oh, and I am out of capacitor juice because I really timed that poorly. Incompetence coming to the fore once again. Okay, let us focus fire on that guy, just so all my guns know that that's what I want to do. And excellent, now this guy is in, is within range of my six sniper cannons on my stern, which is awesome. Okay, and of course some of my sniper cannon shells are hitting the garbage being shot at me as well, torpedoes and what have you. Come on, there we go, he's taken out. Let's get this guy, he's annoying me. Little prick. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how much shielding this guy's got. Okay, actually we are nearly out of capacitor. So let's just maintain separation a bit. We can always drop back after we get our capacitor back. In fact, it's nearly back, so let's start dropping back again. Shields are gone. Okay, I'm just got to keep an eye on my shields while I'm in this view. It is rather easy. Holy shit, I am out of range. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, now I'm getting too close, but it doesn't matter because his ship is falling to pieces. Cores dropping off and what have you, and he's fucked. Okay, last guy. And this is the guy with the mass driver, which can't help me as... Can't help me? Well, it's not there to fucking help me, is it? Can't hurt me as long as I don't lose all my shields. Which is unlikely at this point. Come on, take this guy out. Come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Ooh, particle hose. Excellent. Let's just pull ahead of him. i tell you what tell you what you know what we haven't done in a while you know what we haven't done in a while ladies and gentlemen you can guess already can't you by the fact i am doing this oh i thought i was going to miss him completely then i just couldn't get enough turn going on but it worked out perfect i knocked his nose clean off and that just completely fucked him up or her i should say so ms fist Ms. Fishbowler is now eliminated. And we'll just quickly pick up the Shatter. That's what it's called. Every episode, I forget. Always get the Hammerhead and the Shatter. Not their icons, but their names mixed up. Despite the fact the Hammerhead actually, actually looks like a fucking Hammerhead. Um, okay, look at some of these parts. And... I am completely disinterested in all of them for anything other than scrapping for res. Of course, we want 
to put our points into... I don't know why I did it in that voice. I have no idea. Just retarded, I guess. Um, shield strings. Yes. And reactor. Okay, now, uh, before we end this episode, let's just have a little look here at... Come on, where are you? Scavenge pile. Okay, nice bit of res. That uh, makes me quite happy. And of course, as I mentioned, I will be scrapping all that for actually since i'm just scrapping all that i'm not cleaning it i can just do that and it will do it all at once excellent okay so i've got quite a bit of res now i could indeed cure at least one of these guys um yeah, i'll be cutting it close though because they've been costing me about 3600 these days so yeah, no, I'd have to run... Oh, yeah, no. Why didn't I just go, yeah, nah, and just take it, take it the full fucking, you know, full nine yards and just... I'm rambling again. Okay, now. <laughs> We're supposed to be wrapping up the episode, not making it ten fucking minutes longer. Okay, so... For next episode, I have the decision to make whether to cure any of these guys or whether to maintain the original plan of uh, trying to get down to Mr. Hookup in time. I doubt I will be able to, but I'll give it a try, or I may give it a try. And, of course, Granny Ruina is over in blue territory. At least she was. Um, of course, the larger plan is to let the zombie alpha do whatever the fuck he wants, as long as doing whatever the fuck he wants is him rebuilding Levity and then going all the way down here somewhere. At which point, we will assassinate him and make him crawl all the way back. It will work just as well, of course, if he comes all the way up to the ditch. Now, let's zoom all the way out and have a good look. And I've got to say, while we didn't take any new territory this ga this game, what the fuck, this episode, I've got to say I'm quite happy. We have modified the ship to the Resolute Prince design, and um, we've shown just how effective it is against enemy strike craft. And that's it for this episode. Give me your thoughts down below, and like and subscribe as you will. Until next time, take care of yourselves, and most importantly, have a good one!